So here's how this is going to go down. Basically, it's improv, and they're going to pick a suggestion that was put by the audience in the chat, and they're going to leap into action. And the way they get in and out is saying freeze, freeze, continue, and freeze, split. Freeze is moving the story forward. Freeze, continue is in real time. And freeze, split is in two different locations at the same time. And if somebody says something that indicates to me that they could be a flashback, I say ding because the bell won't cut on Zoom. And they either spring into a recreating something or creating something new based on what was just said. Um, and I think that's about it. So just sit back and enjoy the fun. Okay, guys, take it away, Kua. What's up, guys? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, we're going to start off with some introductions, so go for it. Uh, Tina, you start us off, please. Let everyone know who you are. Say hello. Hey. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming tonight to our seventh anniversary celebration. Um, it's kind of a big deal for us. We're very excited. And I am Tina, um, also known as Christina Orloff, which people are really <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Am I on? I'm Mickey Shaloa. Thanks for being here. Next. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Um, how's it going? My name is Ricardo Adam Zarate. Thank you guys so much for being at our seventh anniversary show. Hi, I'm Rachel Tunot, and I am so excited to see all of you here tonight. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Andrew Gabriel. I would uh, say thanks for coming tonight, but no one has left their house. So uh, thank you for <laughs> logging on. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everyone? Edward Yerena here. You guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It means so much to us, and uh, we hope you enjoy. Hello, hello, hello. Bringing it back to the real thing. What's up, guys? My name is Kua Whitman. Uh, we're so stoked to have you guys here for our last Zoom show because next month, we are back live. Fantastic. We're going to start off the show right now. Rachel Ricardo's got our first suggestion, so lay it on me. I actually didn't introduce myself for those of you that don't know. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't put myself in the lineup. Lauren Patrice Nather here. Take it away. I follow my directions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, for bringing us all together. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Now, Rachel Ricardo, let's go. All right, Rachel. Um, do you want to go ahead and let them know what our first suggestion is going to be? Yes. Okay. Our first suggestion is going to be a bad day at church. Uh, yes. Who is it? Uh, it's Suzanne. <clears throat> well, come on in, daughter of mine. Uh, hello, father of mine. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm doing okay. I've had better days. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm very blessed, Jesus' name, as you always know. Yeah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. Suzanne? Sorry. Did I already, did I need, do I need to explain again about the sunglasses in church? I apologize. <clears throat> What did you need to see me for? <clears throat> well, apparently yesterday we had a bad day at church, did we not? <clears throat> Don't remember a thing. <laughs> Tequila will do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you were drinking as a nun? I was not. I was not drinking at church. No. Well, where would you get the tequila then? Well, where do you buy tequila? You can normally get it at a uh, Ralph's, the Kroger, or a Food Town, or a Sea Town, or a CBS. <laughs> Suzanne, Suzanne, I uh, were. I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, Suzanne, but this ministry has been calling your name for a very long time, Suzanne, and I don't well, feel. I heard it. <laughs> well, sometimes the Lord speaks through us to through vessels. And I am one of those vessels right now, Suzanne. So I need to tell you that God has told me that you have an alcohol problem. <laughs> As Freeze. A Freeze. Uh, Mickey. <laughs> Mommy, why are we in a wine cellar? Oh, because we're going to get wine. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what else do you think, Gordon Wine Cellar, for, Lizzie? <clears throat> for church? Yes, hello. Isn't it the blood of Jesus or whatever? Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> Mommy, why is that bottle open? Oh, that one. It's, well, it's open because the only way to pour it out is by opening it. If I nothing. Yeah. Mommy's going to have a little sip. No. Mickey and Rachel. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, oh my God. Suzanne? Oh. Oh. Rose Roxanne? Are you stealing my look? Excuse me. I'm stealing your look. I've had this look for 72 days. Um, this has been my look since, uh, I don't know, 40 years ago. Oh, really? That was not your look. You never had the curls on the top. Mommy, what? remember how you told me yesterday that you were changing your look? Why don't you quiet down? What are you what? talking for? Why are you speaking? Because you were lying to her. Okay, I'm not lying. You just shut your mouth. Why don't you go play with something? Go go find something and play with it. Susie, I freeze, freeze, Rux. Uh, let me do Lizzie and I'll do Roxanne. You guys are in, in the office already. Is this true, Lizzie? Yes. Did that all happen just a couple minutes ago? Yes. <sighs> I appreciate you for bringing this to my attention, Roxanne. You... <clears throat> but, oh, really? You know what you're doing to me, Lizzie? You know what you're doing to me? You're causing me. To you. I'll show you what I'm going to do to you. <clears throat> oh! I'll show you what I'm going to do. Watch this. Watch this. And then we're in church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, little girl. Stop crying. Oh, don't talk Mommy to my daughter that me. way. Daughter? Oh, yeah, right. Daughter, you're not her daughter. Just so you oh, know. Don't listen to her. I just smacked you in the face. Oh, oh, oh I know where where my daughter. I know where she came from. Where? If you say, I'm leaving. I'm going. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Mommy, Please, you, you, want to feel mommy, you can't leave me here. Stay with Roxanne, your new mommy. Well, in light of this new news, Roxanne, I'm, I'm sorry to have to say this, but can you wait outside, please? I didn't know that you were so rude to Lizzie here. Um, we're gonna I, have to. I Roxanne, have I, I appreciate you for bringing Freeze. this to the table. Freeze, Ricardo. Oh. Oh. Hey, Padre, thanks for coming down. Uh, listen, I need to know exact numbers of who was here on Sunday. Because uh, whoever it was is going to have a real bad day. Okay. Wait, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean bad day? Which well, one? I need to know exactly how many numbers, okay? Because you got so many bugs here, okay? So many bugs. You got Whoa. like cockroaches. You got cockroaches of cockroaches. You got rats, all right? You got ants the size of Long Island, okay? This is bad. All right, so whoever, I need names, I need numbers. I gotta find out because this is like a, it's like a pandemic of, of just bad, okay? So I need your help, Padre. We gotta work this okay. out, okay? Well, based off of the tithe and offering, I would have to say we had a, at least about 150 to maybe 175 oh, people. Oh, shit. Um, are they all from this community or are they like spread out throughout uh, the world? Actually, we had a couple of people that actually came in from New York, um, as a matter of fact. Oh, Freeze. Uh, yeah. Freeze, Father McKinley. Yo! Yo, Carl, what's up, dude? Angel. Yeah, man. Do you not remember me? It's Dan. It's Father, it's Father McKinley. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's all cool. It's all cool. How you been, man? Angel, Angel, Dan. I, I haven't spoken to you in a long time. I've, I've been I know. Amazing. I haven't seen you since that round of eighteen we did down in Florida back in two thousand six. God, that was so long ago. Damn. Wow. And so I told the guy, I was like, hey, man, if you really want to make an investment, um, I mean, what I did was I just, instead of having a bedroom, you know, I just created a library and just had it full of books, you know, and I read every single book, you know, that's how I got my Lamborghini. 
That's how I'm going to be able to get all my new expensive clothes that I want. That's how I'm going to be able to get, uh, what do they call those things? Um, the, uh, oh man, the jets that like hover. What are uh, they called? Uh, uh, hover, man, hover I don't jet? even know. It's called the hover jet. No, no, no. It's the thing that was in the Orbit gum commercial. Do you remember that? I don't, I can't recall. Anyway, okay, so the big man upstairs says that he kind of wants a different interior design, you know, with the church. He's thinking. Oh, hi, um, uh, coming in. What floor? Oh, keep it down. Ding. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, I after that situation, I, I mean, they, that's when I really found my calling of the board, you know, and I, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, you. anyway, <laughs> look, I was sent down because uh, it looks like you guys need some help. Uh, I didn't really get a briefing. Um, okay. So what can I do? What 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 needs to well, be done? Apparently we've got Ansicide Rhode Island. Please continue. Apparently we got Ansicide hey, Rhode Island. Padre, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Hey, uh, Padre, do you know who? Uh, wait, do wait, you know wait. Who, drinks, who in your community? Who in your community drinks tequila? I drink because tequila. I okay. Were you here? Were you here in church on Please, Sunday? Ricardo, freeze, Ricardo. I'm at the front door. Hello there. Hey, Father. Hi. Um, do, do you mind if I could come in? Um, I was actually uh, changing over at the local porta potty, and I dropped all my clothes inside. I actually went to a local gas station to get this shirt to cover myself, and I haven't even. But I, I got everything. I can't put Son, this on. Come in, son. Come in. I have to keep telling you. Come in. Yeah, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Whew. Uh, What's going on, son? I, I, I mean, I, I was just getting ready for Quinceañera inside of porta potty. I got to and and I I dropped all my clothes inside the toilet part of the porta potty. Why would you do that? I didn't. Freeze, I was uh, kind Ed of freeze, Edward. <clears throat> Turn to my house. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh you, you tell me you were coming over for, for some clothes. Yes, if you have some extra clothes for me, please. I kind of got to be somewhere right now. Come on in. Okay, cool. Do you want to sit on my checkered couch? Um, no, no, it's, it's cool. I, I just need to pick up the clothes and I'm good to go. I think you should sit on the couch. <laughs> I'm not yeah, it'll be warmer. I'll, I'll get your blanket. Hold on. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Take Mommy. Oh. Please continue. Oh. Mommy. Yes, Lizzie. Mommy, who is that? This is really Mommy, nice. we're, 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 we're helping him. Can, can you go, go do, a, do me a favor? Go upstairs and get some, get some sweatpants. Some great Freeze. sweatpants. Joanne. <laughs> Joanne. No, no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yo, <gasps> what up? It's Dan. Hi. Eddie Joel? Yes. Oh, my God. What Do you, you not remember here? me? Yes, it's been a very long time. I know. Um, I kind of went on a binge. Uh, long story short, I got a winning lottery ticket uh, from an Exxon down off of uh, Melrose. Um, and then I just went on like a crazy three year hiatus. But I'm back. I'm better than ever. And I'm here to tell you um, I've been doing some cleaning at the church. OK, and, and some some gossip got around and I heard you snuck in some alcohol. I have a solution for you. OK, so. Instead of just bringing in the actual fifth that you got from the store, CVS, or wherever you were at, put it in a concealed bottle. Do you think all those moms that are soccer? Angel, you left and won a lottery ticket and were gone for six years. It, it was three years, but yes, yeah. yeah. Three, three years, whatever. Angel, I have a daughter now. Yeah. Did, did you know wonderful. that? Yes. I have all your reports. I have like your 401k. I have her birth certificate. I've got your birth certificate. Um, I've got your passport. Angel, but you don't have a, don't, you don't have a father's information, do you? Freeze, Mickey. Mm, no. Coming to your door. All right. Who is it? Just open the damn door. Oh my God. What the hell do you want? 
Sunglasses, look. huh? Oh, this is my signature look. Signature look? You had frames, open frames just the other day. I, I did. I don't think so. I've been wearing sunglasses like this for, I don't know, 50 years. What do you want, Roxanne? Um, what I want is to apologize. I'm here to apologize. Apparently, the church is infested and they've been fumigating and it makes me crazy. Um, freeze, freeze, uh, Tina, R Roxanne. All right, so. Roxanne, thank you so much for, for joining me. Um, so clearly you've seen or heard the news, I'm sure. We've had infestation of uh, an infestation of, uh, of ants, apparently the size of Rhode Island. OK, uh -huh. we're having a bad day at church. I mean, not just a bad day. We're having bad days at this church, at this congregation. Roxanne, Father I need to let me assure you that was a one time thing for me. Well, apparently I'm going to tell you something you did not know. OK, apparently these bugs. These, 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 these creatures. You smell that? Yes, I do. There's a few of them, actually, a few hundred. Wow. Did you gain some weight? You know what, Roxanne? Your I'm going to go ahead and. Looking. Freeze, Ricardo. Will? Will, come on in. I knew you were at the door. Hey. Thanks for letting me in. Um, I never got clothes. Um, I just ended up sitting on the couch the whole time and she was talking to me about weird things. So anyway, the way that you do it is you go like this and uh -huh. then the fringe on here really moves and it looks like, uh, what do you call them? What do you I, call these things? Um, I, I don't know, but do you think you can maybe get those clothes for me? I've been I've been sitting here for what seems to be like uh, so far an hour and 45 minutes. Right, I sent my daughter to get the clothes. Here, I got a blanket for you you can wear. You literally only, <laughs> you already gave me like three blankets. I'm getting pretty sweaty now. <laughs> Let's talk about the fringe some more. So this is called fringe, right? I'm, I'm like, I'm like trying to get the, I was Googling, right? And they were uh -huh. telling me like fringe. So I'm like, this is fringe. Uh -huh. And the way that fringe, the way that fringe, um, uh, caresses my body, makes it uh -huh. look good, don't you think? Uh huh. Are you crying? No, I just, I'm, I'm not, I didn't think I was gonna be in a, in a house, a, a random person's house, but naked, not having money or phone or anything. And I just was wondering if I could just get some clothes. I, I went really uncomfortable right now. I would really appreciate some clothes right now. Well, I don't want to give you any clothes. I like looking at you like this. Ding. Okay. Well. Well, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, you're going to have to work for some clothes. Uh, we're having Freeze. an infestation. Father we have bugs the size of Rhode Island. <laughs> Freeze. Father McKinley. We're closing. All right. So this is what I did, okay? I'm not big into killing anything, okay? It's just, it's, it's part of the program, you know? Like, I had to sign a whole release form. I don't want to get into it. So what I did was I went down to the pavilions. I got a whole bunch of fruit. I lined it in the outside of the church. Okay. I left it there for a little while. All the ants started to come outside instead of being in the church. I was like, okay, this is going to work. Problem. Couldn't get back into the church because they were circling around the whole thing. I couldn't get through the door. Solution. I built a bridge. Okay. So you guys are just going to have to take the bridge. I mean, it's a little free step, a little walk, a little free step back down. It actually Dan, adds a little bit of freeze. freeze. I'm going to freeze. cut you off there. Freeze, Father McKinley. Hey, yo, Poppy. Uh, listen, I don't know what the hell happened, but your guy built like a, a ring of fruit and it like these ants came out and now they've, they've completely ruined the foundation of the church. So... Uh, this went so, from being a bad couple of days of fumigation to being basically no more church. Poof. You know, and I haven't been able to say this. I'm going to tell you, Monty, that wow. I've been having an issue. Apparently, these damn ants love tequila. And Joanne's tequila bottles were the ones that were dripping all down. That's what I wall. told you. That's when I found the bottle. I said, who drinks the tequila? Because that's the one they brought Please. in. It's Puerto Rican ants. Uh, they love tequila. Freeze, Kua. Monty, Monty, 
Monty, Monty. Joanne, Joanne, what are you doing? Monty, you can't be here. What, what do you mean I can't be here? You I, I got to talk to you. Yeah, listen, you got to say something else. You got to tell him something else. Tell, tell him it's not the this tequila doing it. It's, it's looking bad on my reputation. What but doing? it is tequila. I, that's the only thing. Like, even the fruit just made him, like, stay longer. Because All right, well, then what's going to happen if you keep doing thing, this? You know? What? What's going to what's gonna happen to me if you keep saying that? If they, if they keep Nikki, saying that? Nikki, you can't be a part of the church hey, anymore. Nikki. You're freaking my kid out. Nikki. Um, excuse me? I have been banned from church for life because I've been feeding ants some tequila. First of all, the fringe, bitch. What? First of all, the fringe. What, what is fringe? with the fringe? You got fringe. You got fringe. You never wear fringe before. I wear fringe. <laughs> What, what are you laughing about? Freeze, hey, what do you mean you got freeze, out of Mickey, Mickey, Lizzie, you're with me. You're right behind me. We're, we're, we're visiting. <sighs> nice to see you, Joanne. Are we on the phone? Mommy. Hello? This is, uh, I brought... Lizzie here with me to visit you. Uh, apparently, you don't know how to take care of your daughter very well. I can't tell if you're talking to me on a phone or if I'm looking you're at in you. Prison. Sorry, you're in jail. You're in prison right now. Oh, God, I think Joanne, God. clearly, oh, no. clearly, you're still drunk. You're still on the I Puerto Rican tequila. Clearly, clearly. I'm in jail. Who's your yeah. real mommy? Wait a minute. Well, why do you have my daughter with you? You're not my real mommy. Freeze. She's now been donated to the church. Freeze, Mickey. <gasps> you can drop your phone. You. Me? You are my cellmate. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>